Hello guys, welcome back. This is our, this is my dad. And this is our fourth weekly standard Pokemon tournament at Columbus's own Roxy Kings. That's right. My name is Anthony and this is my son Isaiah. And I was straight in the beginning. That's right. And this is our, our March 11th, 2017, round four of our Machi tournament. Great. All right, and somehow I messed up and ended up in the, the final round here. I'm the guy on the left. And it looks like you're playing oh, against oh, Zach that we saw on the yes, left. Yes, and you're starting off with Shaman. Now, I want you to notice something about this match. I start off the Shaman, and look at how mad I am about it right there. You see how I just flapped that thing down? Man, I was angry. Not angry, but upset that I had to deal with a, a shame and And it, you just attacked from fair but I won't get knocked out. I don't want to injure you. Maybe Sky Return. Maybe, yeah. Let's Touchy. see. Shaman looks bad as well. Yeah, I, I was not feeling it early on in this game. I, the trainer's mail for the Ilema, and I was sitting there thinking, knowing my luck, I'm only going to catch three off of this thing. Don't run me. I play it. Let's see. We Guess shuffle what? him in. He got a head. And it turns out Let's Alima, see, what do I get? Alima is a boy. Yeah, yeah. We discussed that last time, too. And um, so, yeah, we both got heads on that. So we'll both get six. You know, I'm still perturbed. You can tell by the handshaking over there that I'm not too happy about not having a bench. I was starting to lick my lips because I'm playing a water deck and I was like, hey, I got a weakness match here. This should be easy. Plus the weakness I thought. Yeah, that's right. But this it might go the other way around. And then I finally get a bench guy and it's Manaphy and Ranguru. Those are like the worst ones ever. But you get a fair treat. The first three Pokemon out of here are the least offensive Pokemon that I have in the deck. It was painful. But now you gotta poke your milk. You can you can I can't tell you right. Puke you puke. Yeah, he's my buddy. Alright, so we'll use the aqua tube to get Shaman out of the active. I was really scared about losing that Shaman early. A trainer's meal for Max Elixir. But again, there's nobody who's got any offense on the bench there. Except Well, I don't really want to attack with Manaphy. Warwick. Well, I mean, I guess you could attack with a ranger. We did realize that about Zack last time, is that he had a lot of fire energy on that Flareon. So if he does it like that again, maybe I can use a ranger because what's a ranger do? If you have less than three cards, well, you no, can... I'm talking about his attack. His attack? Oh, um, if you have three energy, you, you could use do. an attack. And, and I keep forgetting I what it is. 60 plus 20 times the number of energy on your opponent. So, if he puts five energy on that Flareon, bye -bye, Flareon. that'll be 160. Bye-bye, Flareon is right. Plus for the Fibo. Bye-bye. All right, so it did. I did end up passing my turn to Zach, and he played an N. I bet Flareon's like, if you hit me with that, um, there we go, he's gonna be like, Papa, I'm going to fly! Now, Whee! did you happen to pay attention and see whether or not he put a Fighting Fury Belt or a Float Stone on it? That is a f Fighting Fury Belt, it looks like to me. I can't remember. It doesn't look like it, because we don't know. And he did put a Float Stone on his... Well, it must have been a Float Stone, because he just retreated for free. Yeah. Or, uh, uh, yeah. And there's an energy on the Volcano. He use the professor's letter to pull out two energy so he can steam up, which is good news by me because I've got the PQ up in the active spot. If oh. he knocks me out, what's going to happen to him? He is going to take, since he's weak to it, it's going to be doing 120. Well, no, no, it no. just does 60 because it's not an attack. Only attacks are my bad. And there he goes. He did knock it out, so he takes 60. Uh, and we swap stadiums for rough seas. That's a good move. And another energy on the Shaman. So yes, you're right. I think here comes the, the Ninja Boy or the... Sky Return. Sky Return. I don't see a Ninja Boy in my hand. You might top deck it. Oh, there comes Ilima. Ilima, so certainly no Ninja Boy. 
and I put a bursting balloon on the uh, orangaroo, so I must be intending on tanking with him. Did we both get heads on the Iowa? I think we did, so we should be six and six. Mm, let's see. Let's see if he takes. Alright, so right now our prize count is six to five. After he knocked out my what did he knock out? Pika mm -hmm. So I'm already having to play some catch up and I still don't have an attacker on the board. Bad news bears. But hey, there's the Labyrinth. But he left us in the book structure. Since you already touched the turn, so that there goes the sky returns. And there goes a Rangaroo into the active. That is a hollow earth. Yeah, very shiny, isn't it? Alright, so he's attaching fire energy to Flareon again, so yes, he is going to load that Joker up. I don't remember if I got the Orangaroo to attack him or not. I think we're just stalling with Orangaroo right now. Stall. Wait, you just got to remove that person, Balloon. No, that was, that was put down this turn, so oh, it was kind of intentional. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. I was like... I remember if he does or not. I do remember being super nervous in this game after the start. He is. It took a, me forever to get that first time. It looks like he is a. Keep forgetting the name. Who's that? Oh, an ape. A orangutan. A orangutan. But it actually says something different than a orangutan. It says sage Pokemon. What's a sage? That's a good question. We'll have to ask Google later. Yeah, well, you can call it down. All right, he adds a fighting fury belt to his volcano. And I think he just steamed up for one. Yes, there's a white help there comes another die, so. And he hit into the bursting gloom, so he took another 60. So there was two steam ups and a power heater for nine. Next turn, he's gone, if you could attack. All right, so there's a water energy and a fighting fury belt. And what am I thinking? Mm -hmm. Fidgeting, fidgeting. No idea what I'm gonna do. I'm reeling right now. I think if I were playing this right now, I'd let him take the Uranus and hope that he doesn't have a Lysander for the Labyrinth. If he is a seeker for Lima, I want fresh cards. He got a head. What do I get? A Tails! Oh. Of course. So what does that mean? play Ilema and get tails, you get three three cards. Okay. And if you get heads, you get six. Plus, if you play like you're down to you have zero, you can start for three. Well, that's the third Ilema of this game. So far, Zach has hit heads each time. I think that's our speed. Yeah, that we um, coin might check be red. Coin the next time you come in. Yeah. Yeah. It looks rigged. Okay. <laughs> Um, let's watch on that Zach, tiny animal. Zach, if you animals. listen to this, we don't think your coins rigged. You're all right. Yeah. Okay, so he drew some turns, so I must have passed. How do you spell his name? Z A C K or Z A C? I think I was told Z A C, so that's the way I put it in the little thingy. So we'll go with that until we're corrected otherwise. All right, so he's got two energy. Did he? Yeah, he played another professor's letter, so this will be a. Well, honestly, he doesn't even need to steam up in this situation. He uses the Scorched Earth for two. He's got three on the Flareon, four on the Flareon with the Flashfire. So Flareon is really racking up the energy, which is kind of a good thing in my mind. Oh! Because if I can get rid of him, that means I can get rid of all the energy. Yep. Oh, you definitely want to get it. You definitely want a top deck of double colors. He's got a floating. Well, I don't have any double colors. Alright, so he ends up with five on that flurry now. Oh, uh oh. So, if I can manage. Don't touch Murphy, Dad. Don't touch Murphy. You don't think so? Oh, no, no, yeah. I'm definitely going to attach to the Labyrinth. I need one. What am I thinking? Yeah, attach to the Labyrinth. I really want to knock that Flareon out. You need to have... weak to water, so if I can get one attack off 
Okay, so I opted to collect for three cards. You're gonna want a blizzard board, burn, because you're gonna be doing 320. That's pretty, well, even 340 with a fighting though. Let's see Flareon no, take that. No, One yeah, no, no, no. My bad. Okay. Wait, plus that's a... Oh, that's so And the collect got me some energy. I know I saw it in my hand, so we should be okay here. Unless if he ends. Looks like he's sick more. Well, I still have all six prize cards left, or is that five? Uh, I think it's all six. six. Yeah. So he's knocked out Pukyu, he's knocked out Orangaroo, he's leading four to six. That's not good. Until you knock out that Flareon, wish him luck. Yeah, I don't know. I, I've managed to only attack him using. Sky Return. That was the only attack I've done the whole time. Everything else was bursting balloons and puking puking splattering all over it. Please do not not mention that. Yeah, they're pretty disgusting. Yeah. Yes. Oh wait, what's going on here? One little. He attached from Power Heater, and he meant to put it on Tauros, I think, and he was asking if he could move. So I think that's what happened there. Which I was fine with. You attach an edgy. Alright, so now I'm oh, up to three. Let's hit up Flareon. Flareon, please hit Flareon. Now we're cooking with bacon. Yep. Bye bye, Flareon. And this will be the 340 and knock all of that energy into the discard pile. It's like, I believe I can fly out into the discard pile. <laughs> <laughs> and my Pokemon won't be able to attack next turn. But that is okay. It might be all right. If you got another Lapras, attach an entry to it, float him out, and just add like about. that, it's a tie game now, so that's, that's good. Here comes Volcanion again. I guess he figures he needs to get energy back on the bench. And he's got another Flareon. Good gracious with the Flareon. How are you really in the deck? I hear you. That was a good yawn right there. I was asking, how many does he even run in that deck? Well, I'd say at least two. Yeah. I think it might be three. Maybe even we, three. We might need a rub see his deck list. Maybe we could do a deck list video of our decks. Yeah, maybe. That would be interesting. All right, so he's going to via Seeker for Sycamore. His deck is getting kind of thin there. I'm not sure what he was going for. Don't. If he suck wars. He did put a lot of energy oh. into the discard pile. And there's a trainer's now. Let's see. For another sycamore. Sycamore. That would be dumb if he's sycamore. Well, he can't do it this turn because, you know, he's hard to play to support. As you can tell on the left there, I'm getting kind of nervous and jittery about it by bouncing all over the table there. And he hits me for 60. Attaching to Flareon, and he's got Tauros ready to attack now. Okay, if you don't get knocked out next turn, I would recommend if you get a Via Seeker, I would recommend you do it. But I said, uh, wait, he's not weak. No, Taurus isn't weak, yeah. I totally thought about that. <laughs> All right, Bye -bye. so Max Elixir to a Lapras on the bench. If you have. I used a energy switch and a attach for turn, so Somehow we got that Lapras you set up. need a cocoon. In a single turn, that was a that was a good move there. Three energy to one Lapras, that's, that's pretty nice. And just up the Flareon, knocks out the Flareon. And there goes Flareon again. And you keep forgetting, whenever he goes to the bench, the, the fuck goes away. That's right, that's right. Well, right now the guy in the active has a little token on him to let me know not to cheat. I use a token to make sure that I don't attack. accidentally attack Warning, twice if you well. attack, you're gonna get an instant loss. Right, right. Please don't mess up. If you mess up, it's your fault. Don't screw up. Did we say screw? What is a screw? A type of bolt. That's right. Type of bolt. Let's let's go with that. All right. So. Like you kind of mess up with 
on that when you turn it in. That's what I'm kind of Let's with. stick with that. I like it. I like it. All right. So back to the game. He's got a Tauros in the active with the Fighting Fury Belt with the two energy. You can. Man, you I don't want to hit into that thing though. But hey, look, now I'm ahead in the prize count two to four. That weakness thing is really coming in. Okay, then you might want to lost Sander up. Pokemon. What's he doing there? Is he? Last oh, yeah, that's exactly what he did. He Lysandered up the uh, man. Manaphy. See, that's Lucky the problem. Lucky that you got the full art. Oh, is that luck? I thought it was six dollars on TCG player. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. All right. So what did I do there? I think I did a max elixir onto. What's his face? I should go up a price. It should be like ten dollars. Yeah, I think I got a good deal on it. it. It arrived a while back, you know. Once I got this Sun and Moon Lapras guy going. He's fun. I like him a lot. Plus, I'm also playing back on YouTube. And I almost beat Lapras with my sword twice. Nice. Alright, so I played Olympia I'm to get Manaphy out of the active. Oh, and no. now I got a fresh Lapras ready to go. But you Only don't hitting hit 170. Him. Oh wait, no, hold on. I used the GX ability, so that's 110. Paralyzed. And he's paralyzed. Thank you. So what? How does he get out of the paralysis? Um, retreat. Retreat, but you can't retreat. With paralysis. So you got to use what? Mm, escape rope. No, the escape rope. Switch. Olympia. The switch. That's right. Those would work. Does he have one? That's the question. And that's a support. I'm starting to feel a little more comfortable. You can tell by the hand movements that I'm starting to relax a little bit. That was a horrible start with the shame and anger of the man of Whoops. the you know, Very, very slow start. Yes, and we're to last 60 seconds of the match. And that looks like you win this one. Yeah, I think so. What does he do? I can't remember. He's Sycamores, and he ran out of cards. <laughs> so, and I pass for the win. Yeah. All right, so that is all of March 11's action. Please don't mess with the microphone while we're saying goodbye because it'll still make popping noises and stuff like that. Nah. So, please. thank you all for watching, and please have a wonderful week. Hopefully, we'll be recording the Junior's Table next week and be able to show you some wonderful uh, action from Isaiah's matches. And watch out for my um, gaming channel last week. Yes, and we might be doing uh, Pokemon 101 because we have to retutor uh, Mom into the game. Okay, so everybody have a great week and we'll talk to you later.